Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today I'm going to do, a, I guess, a different topic than music. Uh, I've always been fascinated with a few things in my life. Uh, first is flying. I envy birds because I wish I could fly. Second uh, is time travel. You know, I wish I could go back to the 80s and stay forever. But, you know, you think about these things, and uh, they're just wishful thinking because, you know, the concept of going into the future when the future hasn't happened yet. Going back in time when time has already have happened and uh, there's, you know, there's no 1984 Morris man walk around, you know, in, in the 80s again. You know, that happened and it's, and it's over. It's a done deal. You know, but, uh, you know, it's wishful thinking on our part that, that we believe that there's a possibility when, you know, realistically, uh, and I mean, I could be wrong, but realistically, it's just impossible, you know. The future hasn't happened yet and the past is over, you know, but uh, again, you got some people that think that it's possible or they, you know, they've experienced it because that's where I'm going with this video. Uh, you know, the, the internet is a wonderful thing. There's a lot of uh, interesting things that you can absorb as far as knowledge, but also it can be a not so good thing because there are people that are putting stuff up on the internet that just clearly BS, you know. So let's get into this whole time travel alien thing, you know, because uh, there's a picture and I'm going to try to put the picture up here of uh, supposedly a guy in the 40s. Uh, he looks out of character from the rest of the people because they're dressed like in 40s attire. And there's this one tall dude that looks like he's in modern clothes. I'm like, first of all, I don't think no one has authenticated this picture yet to say, okay, it did come from the 40s. It's still probably a movie set scene, you know? And then I'm looking at the picture. It looks like the cameraman, whoever took the picture, deliberately, uh, you know, was focusing in on this guy. Because I'm looking at, again, the camera angle. Whoever took the picture had to have been at least a, a couple of feet up higher than the rest of the people because the, the photo was not taken at ground level with the rest of the people. You know, so uh, that right there kind of throws a red flag in there as far as, uh, you know, this is just a picture that somebody took and, you know, they trying to claim that it was uh, took, you know, back in the 40s. But look at the guys, the way he dressed and his glasses and all that. And you have to remember too, he's the youngest guy in the group. And most younger people dress different from older people. You know, so, you know, that's another thing to think about. And then this other uh, Charlie Chaplin nonsense. Uh, let me do this. Oh, sorry about that. I need my prop. Uh, the, a lady, you know, uh, they, they seeing this, this Charlie Chaplin fam, uh, a lady walking down the street with her cell phone. And I'm looking at her hand and I'm like, I don't see anything extended out of her hand. Now I got one of the smallest old cheap uh, cell phones. I'm not, I don't, know, I don't have an iPhone on them, big old phones with a screen. Just got a little regular flip phone. And if I take that phone and flip it this way, and I'm walking, can't you see all this and still of this? You know, so uh, you know, I'm looking at that picture and saying, uh, maybe that man, woman got a mental problem. She told it to herself, you know. But uh, if she was a time travel, think about it. If she was, would she be out in public with a phone, new technology? Wouldn't people be looking at her, questioning her? And then the other question is, who's she talking to? You know, so apparently there's another time traveler somewhere out there with another cell phone, and she's talking to them. You know, so uh, you have to just some, sometimes think about and analyze things and come to conclusions that this is just nonsense. You know, uh, somebody thought it was in, entertaining or interesting to, 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 to put this out there. And everybody's questioning, uh, dang, she might be from the future, you know, because I've seen a few other ones of uh, women walking. I'm going to try to put uh, those foot footage up there, too. Same thing, just a hand. You don't see a cell phone or anything extended, just a just the hand they talking, you know. And then, uh, you know, let's touch on that uh, Billy Myers thing. I mean, I would like to believe that that stuff is true, but uh, I'm looking at the film footage of Billy Myers of him supposedly Feminine aliens. It looks like somebody created a little, little model, and the thing is just hanging off of, of, of a fishing rod string. You know, you can look at it and just see how it's rocking back and forth, letting you know that uh, it's just something that somebody put together, and it's a hoax. Because, I mean, I would think, and again, I'm not no expert on UFOs, but, you know, I would think that they would kind of hover like a helicopter, you know, moving, kind of, and still it is. And I'm going to try to my best to put the, the footage up there on that one too and uh then the ones about the pictures and uh 
a lot of his pictures have already been deb debunked. It's this one guy on YouTube, and I'm gonna try to find his link so you can see his video because you got to see it. And, you know, he's real thorough as far as how he breaks it down and debunks it. And uh, some of the pictures that Billy Meyer claimed that he took from the spaceship of dinosaurs, this guy found the rare book, and it's identical. The picture in there is identical to the one that Billy Meyer supposed to took. So Billy Myers found the book that was very obscure and hardly anybody have access to and took a picture of, of, of the picture and then doctored it up to, to make it seem like, uh, you know, uh, he went on a, a flying spaceship. Because, I mean, think about this. Uh, it takes those people that go up into space months of training, you know, as far as dealing with the G-force, you know, the equipment that you have to have because there's no air up there. And here's a guy that never had any uh, NASA experience, and uh, some UFOs came down and said, hey, we're going to take you for a ride. Let's go. You know, it ain't like you're taking a bus ride or a plane ride. You're going outside the atmosphere or outside the, of the Earth's atmosphere, you know. So I don't think that I would volunteer for that, you know, because, again, we're not trained to be up there. And then uh, these pictures are supposed to be taken from inside of uh, the, the spaceship, uh, you know, out. And I'm, like, saying to myself, if I had a camera and some aliens came and took me for a space ride, I would like to take a picture of them just to prove that uh, that they exist as opposed to these pictures that were supposedly taken outside or inside the spaceship at, at, the, at the planets and, and then the dinosaurs when they went to the other place or and he met Jesus. It's just insane, you know. But uh, there's some people that just have active imaginations, but... When you look at it from a logical standpoint, it makes no sense, you know. Because, again, I would love to be able to get into a uh, time machine apparatus and go back to the 80s, you know, with the knowledge that I have as far as music and finance and all that kind of stuff and not make the mistakes I made when I was in my 20s, you know. But I just thought that I would, uh, you know, do this video, you know. So I hope it was entertaining. And, and, uh, and until next time, take care. Thanks for watching.